Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at this 5-in-1 Accurate Weather Station. We'll quickly check out the indoor display, the outdoor sensor, and I'll install it in my backyard and hook the device up to the web so that I can access my weather data online through the My Accurate website and app, or even connect it to the Weather Underground site. I have my PC here where we'll be backing up my weather data in the form of a CSV file. So this is the 5-in-1 weather station. It measures outdoor temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, rainfall, barometric pressure, and indoor temperature and indoor humidity. Now this one costs about $130 American, includes the outdoor station and the indoor color display. Accurite has a ton of weather stations out there and kits with various sensors and remote access. Do check out their lineup. Now in addition to displaying all your weather data, the indoor unit does show you the connection strength to the outdoor unit and the time and date. Now this is the color display, which sounds like a nice feature over the old black and white one, but Accurite has simply printed color labels and put a light behind them and called it a color display. There is still an old school LCD screen here with black letters displaying the weather values. In fact, the overall screen has a very cheap feel to it. Even when you click the buttons, it sounds really cheap. The outer edge is made of a cheap flimsy plastic. If this were to fall off a table, it would definitely get damaged. Well, we're really diving into the negatives here. So while we're at it, not all the weather information is displayed here at once. I don't like that I had to fiddle with buttons and scroll through setup options just to see my weather highs and lows. Also, there's hidden data which needs to be uncovered with this button on the side, like the indoor temperature and wind chill. Now, I do like how the numbers pop on the display. When you're looking at them directly, they're easy to look at, but as soon as you turn the screen on a slight angle, they disappear. Now there is a power adapter included with the display and it accepts six AA batteries for backup. If there are no batteries in the display and you unplug the unit from the wall, all your data including the time and date settings will be lost. That's pretty old school. I had a Commodore VIC-20, it worked exactly the same way. So a quick word about the ticker at the bottom. You can select what information you like and what you want to see, but I want all my information in one glance. I don't want to spend two to three minutes reading the ticker every day. They could have better utilized this screen space for other variable data. Lastly, I do like how the screen works as a night light. It's just a matter of touching the button on top of the screen and it lights up a room at night very nicely. So let's move on to the outdoor sensor unit. The features are pretty self-explanatory. You have your wind speed, wind direction, rainfall, temperature, humidity, and pressure are all detected from the inside. In fact, there's a little solar panel here on the back of the unit. This is used to power an internal fan which pulls in the air to get a better accurate reading of the air temperature. So the outdoor display is made out of plastic and it's disappointing. It feels very cheap. I'm not sure how long this is going to last in our minus 40 degree winters and our hot summer prairie days. We have a lot of hailstorms and very high winds. Now the unit does accept four AA batteries. I used the lithium batteries for that because they perform better within our extreme temperatures. When you're installing the unit outdoors, take into account any of the influencing factors that could affect the sensors, like heat absorbing asphalt from driveways or rooftops, irrigation sprinklers that could land water inside of the rainfall collector, and any wind obstructions like trees or buildings. Now they do recommend a minimum height of 5 feet or 1.5 meters, but I should be able to install mine at about 14 feet or 4.2 meters. I have a metal pole and some three-quarter inch conduit. Oh yeah, so when you're installing it, notice that north and south is written on top of the unit and your solar panel should be facing south. If this is done incorrectly, your wind direction won't be accurate. Now when I first powered up the display screen, put the batteries in the outside unit, it receives signal right away and they connect it no problem. I was able to receive a signal from the advertised 330 feet or 100 meters away. Now in order to use the MyAccurite app and stream your weather data to the Weather Underground site or transfer data to your PC via CSV files, you're going to need to download an application called PC Connect onto your PC. This allows communication between your station 
and your PC. There is no version of the software for the Mac. Your PC will be then connected to the internet and it will send your weather data to the MyAccurite website and app and to Weather Underground where you can access it. The weather station itself is not Wi-Fi compatible, it doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi and there's no connection for our hard wire. So this means that your display screen will need to be connected to your PC at all times in order for the online features to work. So let's download and install PC Connect. The links for that will be in the description below on my blog. I downloaded the MSI install file and installed the software with no issues. The display unit can now communicate with my PC. Keep an eye on the statuses up here for troubleshooting. Also, you might want to set your computer to never go to sleep so you don't miss out on uploading any data. So to use the Accurite app on my mobile device, I'm going to need a My Accurite account to which I can upload the data. The web page and the app will then retrieve the data from there. In the PC Connect software, click on the option to share with My Accurate and enter your station's MAC address. This is located on the back of the unit. Creating my account on MyAccurate.com was pretty simple. I selected metric and yes, I want to see decimal places in tenths for temperature. But too bad the display screen doesn't show this level of accuracy, which is kind of funny because it obviously collects it. When entering my MAC address, Accurite couldn't verify it as being online. PC Connect says that it's connected, but the error message says otherwise. When setting mine up, I had to select USB 3 setting on the display unit so that I could initiate the communication between the display and my PC. I'm not sure why the setting needs to exist with a USB cable, but anyways, that's how it needs to be done. Accurite gives you the option of showing an adjusted air pressure reading, giving your address an altitude, or seeing the raw data, which is why you may see different values on your display unit versus what you see in My Accurite. So at first, there won't be any data in your account. Give it at least 20 minutes so that you can see some actual data. Once connected, data will be uploaded every 18 seconds for the wind direction and 36 for everything else. Indoor temperature and humidity are not sent. I wish they were because I have no way of checking on my indoor conditions remotely. The user interface is super easy to understand. Click on the temperature or the wind to see the history in a graph. I wish there was a graph with the wind direction showing its history and when it changed direction in relation to the arrival of a storm or a weather front. Next, let's set up the MyAccurate mobile app. Simply download the app, sign into your account, and that's it, pretty simple. At first glance, I like the way it looks and feel. All of the basic information is there on the main page, and I can quickly swipe for more details. Maybe put the forecast on a different page and include all of my weather information on the one screen because the five day weather doesn't change that frequently compared to my current conditions, which is the main reason why I purchased this device. Unfortunately, I found the statuses a little confusing. In the upper corner, the status is green, which you would think is good, but it might not actually be getting updated. The time is 11.39, but it was last updated five minutes ago. When I pull down to refresh it, it says it was last updated one minute ago. So why would it show green when it wasn't actually getting updated? Also, several times the status would show as red and last updated a nice while ago, but PC Connect seems happy, seems to be sending data, and the outdoor unit is connected. I don't know what's going on. It's quite frustrating at times. And just a little FYI on error handling. I get this one here when my phone's Wi-Fi is too weak and the app times out when it's trying to fetch data. I also get a host name error when switching between the Wi-Fi and cellular network. And I'm not sure what happened here. Did my, did my surgery get canceled? So I found that the temperature graphs for today and the 24 hour time frames are great, but I want to use the 24 hour time frame all the time because when I click on the weather trends just after midnight, I barely have any data. I want the last 24 hours to be my default setting, but I need to go in every time and switch the time frame in order to see this data. You can't switch the default. Also, when the time frame is larger than 24 hours, you don't see the actual temperature trends for that day. You only see the highs and lows. In some cases, the lines don't even connect the dots. On the chart for fuels like temperature, heat index, and wind chill, I don't know why they didn't add the actual temperature for a comparison. It seems like that value would be the baseline of all the calculated values on this screen. So as you've probably seen, the indoor base has a storm alert which lets you know when the air pressure suddenly drops. The app doesn't have such an alert, so you have to be home in order to get this notification from the base station.
Setting up an alert using the app is also confusing. I went through the process of setting up a wind alert to get a notification if we reach 30 or above. I went back to edit it and it says I have zero alerts set up, but when I click on it, I clearly have one set up. Now surprisingly enough, the alert actually did work and I got an email and a push notification. A couple of days later, we had a nice thunderstorm. The wind hit the 30 km hour mark and I did not get the notification. The wind was clearly at 32 km per hour. On the accurate graph, 32 was the highest gust recorded, which is totally incorrect. The indoor display knew the wind hit 42 and weather on the ground was all over it. I found it very frustrating that Accurite's own interface was so inconsistent in its frequency of updates. Sometimes it updated every 36 seconds, but most of the time it took 4 to 5 minutes. Connecting to Weather Underground was pretty simple. Create an account, log in, click add new device and enter your full address so it can show where you are on the map. Fill in the basic information like the 5-in-1 station with Accurite. You'll be presented with your ID and key which can be entered into PC Connect. I'm checking rapid fire so I'll get more frequent updates every 36 seconds. The weather on the ground site was a bit flaky. It took a while for my status to show as online and now when I access my link which is set up for metric the page loads in Fahrenheit and then goes into a weird state for a second and then I see that hasn't been updated in 50 years and then it converts to metric. The weather map on the right hand side is pretty cool. It's actually a weather radar and you can see other people's weather data. I do like how Weather Underground has everything on one page. And check out what I found at the bottom, a graph for my wind directions. See how the wind direction changed twice when the velocity increased? This is the data I was looking for. Thank you Weather Underground. There's tons of data here and this online interface seems so much more reliable than Accurate's own connection. If you want to download your weather data from your display to your PC, you can do so in the format of a CSV file. These can be opened up in Excel. In PC Connect, click Transfer Now and select a location where you want to save your file. The data is then moved from the weather station to your PC and no longer exists on your weather station. Now your weather station can only hold up to two weeks of data, so make sure you set it up to automatically download the data or return back and download it every two weeks if you want to save this data. So when we open the file, we see that there's a record for every 12 minutes. If there's a gust of wind or a fluctuation in temperature outside of this 12 minutes, it won't get recorded. I wish there was an option to record data much more frequently, so I can add the data to a personal website and add different graphs and play with the data how I wish. I also wish it could store more data. Two weeks of data translates into about 1680 records of a CSV file which takes up barely any space. If there were some serious internal memory or even a SD card, you could store tons of useful data much more frequently. So in summary, I'm not super impressed with the quality of the hardware. It does have a cheap plastic feel to it. I didn't actually think I would use the indoor display since I have all the information available on my phone. I did however position it in somewhere where it was rather convenient where I could glance at it a couple of times a day in passing. There is a USB cable which runs behind the wall down into my basement into my PC where I can push data out to the internet. I'd rather see the outdoor unit interface directly with my Wi-Fi or even better be hardwired with a PoE connection to eliminate the indoor display and PC connect. It would also be cool if there was a small weather camera on the outdoor unit with a display on the mobile app. I also wish that data was sent more frequently from the outdoor unit, like once to twice per second. Yes, I know this will add to the cost, but I think the setup like that would be much better. Now the My Accurite app is okay, it's not great. I did have some issues with it, but overall I am able to see the information when I want to see it. Now the entire system here, it's a good beginner system, but it's far from perfect. The links to check this out on Amazon are in the description below. I hope that you found this information helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.